Business Central provides built-in workflows, but what if we wanted to do something different, like allow for two levels of approvals? We can do this with Power Automate. To get started, we navigate to Business Central entities like vendors, or purchase invoice, or sales orders. Today, we're going to use vendors. To get started, we'll click on a line item. And once it opens, we'll click on Request Approval, then Create a Flow. This will load up any built-in out-of-the-box templates from Power Automate. We'll select the first one, and we'll let this load. Once it creates the connection, we'll click on Continue. Once the template loads, we'll see that most of the fields are pre-populated. The out-of-box workflow comes with one level of approval, but we can add two. For the assign to, right now I'm just going to assign myself, but you can also set an approver in a variable and use it later. So for environment, we're going to change it to our environment. The one we're using right now is Sandbox Apps. And we're going to change the company name to the name to the company that we're using right now, which is CRG Gate. For the most part, we're going to leave the workflow as is. We're just going to keep changing the environment name and company name um, to ours. We can also change the, the type of approval. Right now, we're just using first to respond. We can change it to everyone must respond and then change the conditions accordingly. So what this step basically does is if it's approved, you approve it in Business Central and send an email. And if you say, uh, if you don't approve, then it goes and rejects it and then sends a rejection email. Again, we're not making a whole lot of changes to it. We're keeping it the same. So this is your one step approval. You can save it, but if you want to do this two steps, I have one created right here. So what I've done is once the first level, level of approval is done, we just go in and add another one. So what I've done here is basically copied uh, the condition step and pasted it onto the other workflow. So we delay the approval step and I just put in start an approval um, and just put in the same information, just called it second level. And for the condition, I've swiped, uh, switched the response from the first level approval to the second level. You'll notice it says start an approval second level response. Another thing you'll want to do here is for this email in the second level, you'll want to change out the comments to refer to the second level approval instead of the first one. So 
So we're going to save this workflow and go create a new vendor to test it. But before we do that, we have to, uh, another thing to note here is that we have to save the connection that we're using for the workflow as an approver in BC. So we'll go to approval user setup and put pbachar as an approver so that pbachar has permissions to go approve workflows. So we'll create a vendor. We'll just select cash payment vendor, give it a name, fill out all the required columns. And once that is done, we'll click on request approval and send approval request. Now I've set the assigned to to myself, so I'll, I'll receive emails pretty soon to approve them. And we can see our workflow has started here. So I'm just going to approve the workflow. And once that is done, we should get the second level approval email. We'll approve the second level approval as well. Okay, so the approval approves it in uh, BC and then it sends an email as well saying that it's been approved and the comments attached. Now we can do the same, like I said, with purchase invoice and sales invoices as well. Um, there are certain lim limitations to it. For example, the approval information is lost once the request has been um, approved. So we can customize Power Automate approvals to Business Central to address these limitations through custom extensions, such as record approver name and comments in BC, store attachments for invoices and line items in BC, assign managers in dimension values, and assign backup approvers for users on vacation. Please contact CR Group for more information on Business Central customization.